What's good everyone, Dolo the Gamer here. It's been a week since the release of the GTA Online Biker DLC and by now you all have experienced just about everything the DLC has had to offer. As for me, between a heavier workload as well as making preparations for Hurricane Matthew, I haven't been able to dive into all the new features of the update nor have I been able to work on any content for this channel. However, going forward, you guys should see a lot more content released here more frequently. Now, most of you are probably already craving another major DLC, and as we've seen today with the addition of a sixth garage and two new vehicles, Rockstar will probably hold us over with smaller weekly additions to the current update. Also, Halloween DLC is a given which may only amount to a few masks and Halloween themed items, but we probably won't see another substantial update until the end of November at the earliest. Which is fine by me as I've never really grown bored of GTA Online, nor have I been dissatisfied with the available content. It's not to say that there isn't anything Rockstar needs to improve about GTA Online, but overall I really enjoy the game because I always know what to expect from it. And speaking of which, the Biker DLC did live up to my expectations, those expectations being a Biker game themed version of the VIP. CEO systems. I've had an opportunity to start a bank again, but I think I may have wasted all of my 1.5 million on pointless upgrades to the clubhouse instead of actually investing into business. There's two different types of motor club work missions that can be accessed, those that are triggered by the interaction menu and those that are triggered by contracts located in the clubhouse. Just think of contracts as by missions uh, as a CEO. As far as businesses are concerned, I've only been able to visit a business during my brief time as a part of another player's motor club, but I would imagine those operate similar to sale missions as a CEO. A few other things I found to be pretty cool are the ability to use melee on bikes, although the control scheme forces you to release the gas just to attack to your right unless you're using two fingers. Maybe in a future update, holding the X button will at least maintain your current speed, but it's nothing that ruins the DLC. Also, being able to ride in a controlled formation and receiving healing, armor, and repairs to your bike over time was pretty cool as well. Roles within the club and those roles coming with special abilities is another cool feature, although the abilities themselves seem a bit lackluster, at least from what I've been able to see so far. However, part of the reason why I haven't been able to fully experience the Biker DLC proper is because everyone wants to be a boss. Aside from that, of course, you have a ton of new clothing options and several tweaks and fixes to GTA Online, which are very welcome. All in all, I thought the Biker DLC was a pretty sweet update and I'd like to see what Rockstar does next with this role system, maybe allowing us to play as cops in the future update. Anyway, I may be dropping a series of videos discussing some practical changes and improvements I definitely think GTA Online could use. Of course, Rockstar always ruins it with the release of each new DLC and of course it's a terrible game designed to be a sinkhole from microtransactions, reefers, blah, 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 but three years later we're still playing the game and still talking about it, so it can't be that bad. No, well, anyway, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. If you hated it, please leave a dislike. And if you're interested in future content from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, I've been thinking maybe if I had a certain amount of subscribers, uh, you know, I might start doing special giveaways and such. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.